Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, keeping up on the news with your iPad, Biggie or Mini. Mm, plus, there's a wedding ahead, Apple and Waze tying the knot, some photo stream duh tips, and what's the iPad competition doing to Apple's market share? All that and some time and weather, y'all, on iPad y'all? today. Yeah, I just did that, y'all. iPad Today is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website, blog, or online portfolio. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase on new accounts, go to squarespace.com and use the offer code iPadToday1. And don't forget to try their brand new developer platform for complete code control. And by audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPadToday. Gosh, it's been how long has it been since I saw you last? Since last year, I haven't seen you. It's been a whole since year. Since 2012, wow. lifetime ago. Welcome to the first iPad today of 2013. Can you believe? Ah, that's. It feels like the future. Do you know somebody posted on Twitter that 2013 is the first year to have four different numbers since 1987? Since you were born. No. <laughs> well. Close. I don't know. 25 years ago. Night. 25 years. 1978. I was alive then, and that was. And four. that was different digits as well. So it's yeah. happened more but than once in my since life. Since 1987. Kind of fun. Yeah. I like those little. And the next things. one. Is. Next year. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then the year after that. Oh, and the year man. after that. We have the, best, the best days are behind us. Apparently. Yeah, that's it. It's over now. Oh, 2013. You had a whole stretch from 87 to 2013 where the year digits were repeating. In strange and ways. Everybody felt awesome. Why do people care about that stuff? Because it's number business. Yeah. I like things like that. Numerology? Yeah. I like palindromes, numbers or letters. I love palindromes. They're very fun. They make M- me feel good. Many people don't know the name Sarah Lane is a palindrome. It almost is. <laughs> if my parents had just thought a little if harder, they just put it a little been, effort into the middle. Awesome. Yeah. Do you know that Taco Cat backwards is Taco Cat? Yes. Think about that for a second. Mm-hmm. Just chew on it. <laughs> I would love to chew on a taco cat right about now, but it's no time for lunch. It's time to talk about news applications That's on right. iPad today. Yeah, so we, 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 we talk about news regularly. Obviously, uh, the iPad is a great way to, to, to get your news. It's replaced my newspaper, frankly. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Over the holidays, I just have to say, uh, I was up at my mom's house. We were kind of bored on Christmas. The gifts had been opened. We're sort of sitting around, climbing the walls a little bit, and she says, you want to see a movie? And I said... Okay, yeah, what's out? And so she hands me her paper. That's so old and school. She, and she like points to the two theaters that she would like to go to, right. you know, in the list. And I'm like, wow, I haven't, well, done, that I haven't done this in a long time. I know. I forgot. So retro. Yeah. What do you use, Flickster? Um, I use Flickster. Flickster is yeah. a good one. I have the Rotten Tomatoes app as well. But Flickster has Rotten, 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 it, rotten ro- Tomatoes in there. Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes. In there. You say Rotten Tomatoes, I say Rotten Tomatoes in the app. That's true. Yeah. So I use Fl- I use Flickster um, because I could see the reviews, I could see trailers, and I could see what times, I mean, you're, mostly you're looking for movie times, right? But it does it seem yeah, so old school to go to a newspaper nowadays. I, it really is. I mean, that's for, for news in general. The and only it is old school, and some people just, they prefer it for whatever reason, um, either because they don't have an iPad or they just prefer it. But your mom has an iPad. She does, and she is... It's more old habits. And, more, yeah, exactly. More and more, she's realizing, oh, this is actually really fun to, you you to read use a book the, on my iPad. Do you ever use the phone book? Like the Yellow Pages phone book? Like the piece of th- no. the book that they actually put on your... I mean, I don't even understand why they still do that. For Who a does while, that? I would keep them around because they'd be like a stepping stool for me if I had to reach something <laughs> that was really high. But even now, I'm like, no, I already have. I, now I bought a stool, so I don't need these on my doorstep anymore. See, the issues of short people are so different from those it's of all you about, and me. It's all about grabbing that wine glass <laughs> that was on the cover. Can't reach it Just if I have the yellow pages. Can't I reach can... it. You need a couple of yellow pages. The only thing I miss from newspapers, the only thing is, and I did this for years as a talk show host in radio, is I would have a razor blade read the newspaper and cut it out. 
and put it in a folder. And that made a very easy way to kind of create a collation of news stories. And I also, I, I have to admit, I kind of like turning the page and scanning it. There's something about the way you can scan a newspaper that's different from the digital way. But in every other respect, something like Flipboard is far better. We've we got some other choices too for you. We do. And you mention you mentioned scanning and, and how it's 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 unique to something like a newspaper. Right. I found an app called Read Quick. Oh, let me look um, at it. It's three ninety nine. This is an app that excuse me, got a little whiskey. Got a little whiskey in there. Um You've got whiskey? I've got whiskey. Yes, it's true. You also have a sideways app. I do. I know. That's actually one one and only. Oh, is it an iPhone app? No, no, no. It's an iPad app. It's it's mm. native. It's just it, they they prefer landscape mode. Oh, because they want it to look like a newspaper. They want it to look like a newspaper. And what this is, okay. So let me. How do I explain this? How do I explain this to you? Um, I'm looking at a a website called the Morning News. You know, I'm just going to go back to the 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 very front so you get an idea of what's going on. What Read Quick is designed to do is not summarize news stories that you you know you would read in their entirety. It's to display one word at a time, I have it set to 250 words per minute. You can go faster oh, or slower in your settings. Interesting. If I wish I hadn't just bought this. Why? <laughs> that's not what I thought it was. Well, Leo, you should have It's to waited. make you read faster. Well, it's to help you concentrate. It's not just about reading faster. I don't want to concentrate. Well, you, that, that's why you have all the problems that you do, because you don't concentrate enough. I like me so if, the way I am. If you wanted to read the top 10 albums of 2012, for example, okay. You go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start. And oh, now oh I, I hate that. What the hell? This is what I just spent $3.99 for? That's correct. Oh, actually, I can read it, though. You can. You think that you can't. You think, oh, my God, I can't do this. It's kind it's of not... the opposite of scanning a page. It's actually narrowing it down. Uh-huh. I, I have no problem reading this at all. I, w I actually read a couple of articles before the show thinking it's going to start bothering me, though, because Why you, would know, you, you, want know, to you do don't this? pause after a comma and that sort of thing. It's training your brain not to sound out words in your head so that you get through articles faster. <clears throat> I think this is actually completely misguided. Why? Because I think, and I seem to remember from theory of reading that what you want to do is look at groups of words and absorb the whole groups of words. They, in fact, when they teach you to read, they try to get you away from this notion of one word at a time. They want you to see the phrase one word at a time as a, as a group, and you can't do that on this app. Well, I don't know. I mean... It, do you like this? Would you use this? I like it, yeah. Like, so, you continue to use this? I, I, I like it. I think it's a fun... I, I think it's a fun... It's sort of like a brain exercise. By the way, so, you know, here we go. This is a, it's an article about a bunch of music. So we're, you know, we're seeing a bunch so of... So sorry I downloaded this. Well, you know what? It's not going to ruin Can your I life. Can I have my $4 back? No, you can't because <laughs> that's the way it goes. It's too late. 2.5 minutes left going at 250 words per minute. I could go up to like 600 if I was feeling crazy. 605. Wow. In the interest of time. Oh, could, so it could train you to read faster, I guess. Look at that. I can still read that. I can read that fine. I, I mean, am I amazing, or can everyone read I this? I think you're amazing. I feel I, like I'm, I'm a little bit amazing right now. I'm completely right lost. I love it. You like super eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. It's like All typing, I got from right? there was animals, now, Spotify, the, Well, you've something. got issues. But if, if we go back, okay, so that was, th th that's actually a publication, you know, and I'm, I'm reading through an RSS feed that was, this was already added. Would you do that? Featured section. I mean, are you going to do this, like, from now on? Is this how you're going to read? Well, Leo, this is an option. This is an option for reading the kind of stuff that you could read on Flipboard. Should it give you? A, somebody said it should give you a comprehension test afterwards. Maybe like, then it would be a, a speed reading trainer, I think. But as I remember, the whole idea of speed reading is to is to comprehend clumps. I might be wrong on that. Isn't that? Isn't well, that? well, you know, I thought that you were going to go. Hey, that's new and cool, no. and you're very naysayery about it. So. I my resolution for 2013 is to not be sucked in by anything. Okay. I'm going to be the guy who says, no, that's no good. I'm going to be the curmudgeon. Ugh, there are so many of those people out oh, there you're already, right. though. You, you don't, don't need another one. You don't need another one. No, of those. it's very, no. it's the irksome. Heck with that. You know? The heck with that. So if you, I have, I have added my Instapaper account, I've um, added my Pocket account. You can, you know, add stuff to your favorites. I've actually, I've put my iPad back in, in, in landscape mode now. Um, you can see what your statistics are of stuff that, that you have read um, and how fast you read it. Um, you can add um, pr pretty much anything to this list. You can go ahead and browse the web. I, I, I like it. Okay, I'm, it is, I'm wrong. It is $4, but when I went to uh, do a little bit of research on news apps, I thought, this is different. It's definitely different. won't appeal to everybody, but it might appeal to you. I have kind of almost the complete opposite app for you. Really? Yeah. 
What? Okay. I'm so, excited. Yeah. So this guy, actually, a guy who reads for this app called me on the radio show yesterday. Uh, it's called Umano, and the whole idea is it's it's. Uh, I'm going to log into Facebook, so it will have my account here. So hold on just a second. The whole idea of Umano, which is Italian for human, is that humans with beautiful voices, they say, read to you. Oh, you, okay. I like it already. Interesting news read by real people. And actually, the guy who, who called me... Now, this is the negative. Oh, well, one negative is it's... It's... Uh, <laughs> It's uh, not getting my... So it's a it's an iPhone app, okay? But that doesn't matter because you're not really looking at it. You're listening to it. So you tap an article to begin listening. Double tap to add it to your playlist so you can scan a few articles before you get in the car and then have a playlist so that you... And by the way, the playlist you can listen to offline if you want to save uh, bandwidth. You could download all of these. So let's... Uh, this is the New York Times. Our imaginary weight problem. This is a perfect one for me. Our absurd, Our absurd fear, fear of fat, fat is reported on the New York Times.com. Now, humans. According read. to the United States government, nearly seven out of 10 American adults weigh too much. In 2010, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention categorized 74% of men and I, 65% and of women as either the deal? Oh, You don't have to love that voice. You can love another I, voice. I don't dislike it. How I just, would you like I to wasn't... read? Well, but it's not. A, it's, but it's, it's, the point is, it's not robotic, it's a right. human. Yeah. It's not as good as Audible. I understand that. Um, here's something, a life hacker article. Wouldn't you be interested in how to need less sleep by getting better sleep every night? That sounds like something I, I would add. I never sleep. I'd love to know. I'd add that to my playlist. How to need less sleep by getting better sleep every night, as reported on lifehacker.com. So you're right. These Many are of us struggle to get enough beautiful sleep. voices, yes. but they're, uh, they're adequate. How to train your brain to There's stay focused. There's a human element of that life hacker article I might have skimmed otherwise. Right. So you, it's, right. it's very NPR. Business Week, The New York Times. MIT's Technology Review, uh, eScience News. It's got it categorized, so you can pick a category that you're interested in. Um, the Milky Way contains at least 100 billion planets. Did you know that? No. Let's listen in. That's their sounder, the Umano. Milky Way contains at least 100 billion planets. New analysis now, finds. if you listen carefully. On TPM. What are you making the Milky Way contains at least 100 billion planets, or enough to have one for each of its stars. Each of and its many stars. Many of them are likely to be... So, if you listen carefully, you notice there is a little um, digital artifacting because they are highly compressed. Mm -hmm. You can't control the uh, quality, um, but it's for I would say for most people it'd be it'd be adequate. You get all of these interests: entertaining, must know, geeky, entrepreneurial, inspirational, scientific. Um, you can use Facebook to log in, so it'll keep track of what you listen to. It'll let you to download the playlist at a time, listen in the car, uh, and and I could follow you on this. So if if a couple of friends use Umano. And and best part is it's free. Yeah, I, like I guess this. they'll put ads in it sometime. This is, I mean, this is one of those perfect apps where I, I understand it's an iPhone app and and it, there's some it's visual you elements, but it's like you you're know, if you're in the car or whatever, right. or you're taking a walk. This is this is the sort of thing that's great because it's that it's that audio version. And I have to say, I would never have known about this, but a guy who records for Umano called the radio show and was looking for a microphone. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did you what did you recommend? I recommended uh, I can't remember the Yeti maybe from from Blue. Uh -huh. I can't remember. Yeah. But he wanted a better mic. Oh, no, I remember what it was. He had a Yeti, and it was short-circuiting his ears. He was getting electrified. Ew. Yeah, not oh good. My, so that's uh, not I worth said, it? That's what I said. Take it back. It's short. It's a short. You know. it, what, what was his question? Is this normal? <laughs> Should I it hurt? He, I think he actually probably more was like plugging Umano than anything And else. said, yeah, I'm getting electrocuted Umano. <laughs> he uh, did. He started with Umano. <laughs> and then later he said, and by the way, I'm getting shocked. Um, you know what shocked a lot of people? Hmm. When Zeit redesigned uh, their entire app, we talked about Zeit when it came out. Th yeah. This came out with a big splash. The idea was kind of a customizable newsreader, mm -hmm. similar to Flipboard or um, I don't know. And I played with it a little bit, but I didn't. I didn't love it. Now, why didn't? What What was it about Zeit that you didn't like? Um, presentation wasn't as elegant as Flipboard. Now, this is Zeit. Uh, you, you, some of you may recall, it used to have, you know, I, I remember the logo had a big Z. Now it's a, like a really cute little owl. Um, but they've, they've redesigned the whole thing. It does look better now. The idea behind the app remains the same. This is, um, you, I'm, I'm looking at topics that I have told Zeit I'm interested in um, for just a quick look of that. You know, I've got stuff like gadgets and Apple News and travel and San Francisco, stuff that appeals to me. Um, I can get uh, more categories uh, or actually, that's just more about me. Um, I can uh, I can edit these categories, 
um, and I can search for new ones and then go ahead and and find them there. And that was kind of the idea of this, as I remember, was it would get smart about what you were interested in and start recommending more in that genre. Or yeah, exactly. So if I'm like, oh, you know, I don't think I added movies, but that's definitely something I'm interested in. I can go ahead and once it loads up, if it looks like the kind of content I'm interested in, I can go ahead and say, okay, that's my favorites now. I've just I've just hearted it. I'm going to see more in the movies category. I can add it to my quick list if I want it in that drop down menu. So I go ahead and do that. And we're talking about what some new Iron Man movie. Go, fine. So if I read this article now, you know, it's it's kind of that stumble upon model. I can thumbs up. I can thumbs down. I can send it to somebody, or I can just go to the next story in this list. What I like about Zeit is that I think, Leo, your point was it was fine, but it was a little unremarkable. Was, yes, exactly. And this, to me, is, I, I don't know if you're going to feel differently. It's just, it's snappier. It looks good. It definitely works. And for some people, Flipboard is not quite right. And Zeit, I think, is a little bit more a, it almost feels more like a traditional publication because Flipboard is very unique. Um, so even though this is a Flipboard type model, it's I a little like, bit more straightforward. I like it that it will actually look at your Twitter, Facebook, Pocket, and Google Reader accounts and say, based on what you picked there, mm -hmm. here's some other stuff. I just never used it long enough to see how well that customization worked. Does it work pretty well? Do you get a stream? Have you played with it now long enough that you get a stream that you feel like, wow, this is great. I'm discover because discovery is huge. Oh yeah. How oh, do yeah. I discover new stuff? It's I mean, huge. I think I think you know I I think that a game plan for something like this is you add too much at the beginning. I mean, if, that's if, what if, I did. Any, it was a mistake. If yeah. any category you know appeals to you, you just and right. then you sort of go like, ah, oh, there's so much stuff I'm not interested in. But all you have to do is do the thumbs down a few times, mm. or take out a category where you're like, you know what, I'm actually not interested in plants. I never want to read about plants again. Never again. Just take it out, yeah. and then you have a, a really uh, curated but yourself uh, collection of news. They have an interesting uh, kind of eclectic list of categories. For instance, I'm looking at. Their their Zeit picks time lapse photos, infographics, and dessert. Right. So I mean, <laughs> that's kind of neat. Yeah. Because if the you're place. really interested in dessert, mm -hmm. you could have you'd be reading along political news, world news, international news, business news, dessert, every once in a while on your feed. I think that's nice. Yeah, I think so too. I'm adding it. Yeah, I I think I think Zeit is great. Um, you know, there's an article at Zero Dark Thirty. I'm really excited about. About reading Can't wait that. to see that. Some say the best movie of the year. Well, Catherine Bigelow, she got the Oscar. She's a couple great years for the ago, Hurt Locker. So, She's great. You know, speaking of dueling ex exes, remember that it was James Cameron for Avatar, and Catherine Bigelow got the Oscar that she, year. She's his ex-wife. Yes. <gasps> Yes. <gasps> kind of crazy. I'm glad I didn't run into them in an auction. Really? I wouldn't have known. I know. Does anyone know what we're talking about, or was that before the show? I can't remember. Oh well, doesn't matter now. Hey, if I want to, <laughs> if I want to increase the text size, if you're, if you're like, I love Zeit, but I just don't really the like the layout. Text is too small. Yeah, you, you've got. That's you, nice. You've got some customization That's there. That's good for me. I'm old. Yeah, I think, I think it's, a, I think it's a nice app. But it's, and it is totally free. So, is it going to replace Flipboard for you? Is Flipboard your go-to? Flipboard is still my go-to mm -hmm. for certain things, mm -hmm. not for everything. If I haven't been to Instagram in a while and I'm laying on the couch, I don't want to look at Instagram, the iPhone app on my iPad. Right. I'd go through Flipboard, for right. example. Right. It's really good for certain things like that. That's interesting. Um, I read a lot of food blogs, and food blogs are just, they're so picture-y that I find Flipboard really good for that. But Zite wouldn't be bad well, for and, that. Well, and Flipboard has the problem that it requires you to have customized it a lot, and, or at least customized your Twitter a lot with lots of lists and so forth. Sure. And uh, Zite sounds like it learns. I know, I'll try Zite. You know, what Zite reminds me a little bit of is Google Currents. This is Google's response to both Flipboard and Zite and other things, and it's the same idea, which is uh, it's kind of like a newsreader, but not... Um, you can have a library of stuff. You could follow certain people. So here's Robert Scoble's stuff. It produce, does it in a nice presentation. Actually, now that the, they updated Google+, Plus, this kind of looks a lot like uh, Google+, Plus, doesn't it? Uh, kind of interesting. Here's Mike Elgin, Tim O'Reilly. So if you follow people who, have, who say some interesting things, um, it's, it's similar. It's magazine-y. It's Google. It is not topic-focused. It is source-focused. So some people don't like the idea that uh, you subscribe to a bunch of articles about fashion from a variety of sources. They say, no, I'd rather see what Vogue is saying. I'd rather see what Glamour is saying. You know what I'm saying? They're more right. source focused. That's the more traditional way to read. That's what Google Currents is. You can follow individuals, 
but more likely you're going to follow brands like here's the CNET uh, feed. And that's probably Google's way of supporting uh, the brand. It does have categories within this, so I can look at car tech at CNET. Uh, it's taken a little while to load these images, but these images will uh, show up. And it's, you know, it's similar to the, the uh, Flipboard or Zite in the sense that I've got a collection of articles here. It is free. It's Google Currents. I think it's probably worth adding. All of these are worth having on your system, except for that silly reading one on your system. <laughs> on your system yeah i stand by read quick okay I think it's cool and different and they're thinking outside the box and they're disrupting the marketplace me i like the box i i just want i do too actually i fear change i fear change just don't change you and me yeah well look at us we're in the right business aren't we, we? <laughs> <laughs> why there were only three ipads this year that's nice. You I know, like before we move on, I just wanted to mention, I was doing a little digging around the app store, looking for interesting news apps. And you know what's in the news app category what? for um, for, 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 for interesting apps that you should have what? in the news category? What? TwitPad. Hallelujah. Yeah. Our little TwitPad is in, it's in the uh, news category. Craig Mullaney, Shift Key Software. It's uh, 99 cents. It's a way to watch us live mm -hmm. or look at a show like iPad Today. Exactly. Uh, after the fact. It's, it's everything you need if you want to stay in touch with Twit. And this is not our own official app. This is just uh, Craig did it, and I highly recommend it. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So if you're watching us and you think, you know, it just would be so nice if we had a, if we had a, a, a customized app just for us. You do have one. It's TwitPad. It's 99 cents. You know what I really Shift like? ShiftKeySoftware.com. What? Oh, I thought you might know. I was just wondering. Oh, let me guess. No, you know. <laughs> let me guess what you like. What do you? Uh, what you do like? I really, really like? Whiskey? No, <laughs> I do like that. I think you should have breaking news on your app, not because you ever go into it. It's the world's worst interface. But maybe not breaking news. It could be breaking news. The New York Times, oh, NBC breaking Politics, news, the app. The app. And yeah. you know why I like it? Because why? I get notifications. Yeah, yeah. I think it, the one thing I really like having is some app. I never actually open this app, but some app that has the privilege of giving you notifications, so that when news happens, uh, it will show up in your uh, notifications. I have NBC Politics, New York Times to also do the same thing. I have the New York Times do that. Yeah. Uh, an app called Circa that I've been using yeah. uh, on my iPhone. So we'll pick do that too one of those, as well. even if you're not going to use it as a news reader or you're not going to read the New York Times, you don't even have to pay for the New York Times subscription just because it'll notify you. Something big happens. Something, yeah, the big stuff. Yeah. It can be, it can be helpful. But I some like people that. don't like notifications, so, you know, it's, it's up to you. Hey, we uh, talked about quite a few apps just now, so if you want to go back and revisit any of the apps or links that we just mentioned, you can go to our website, twit.tv slash IPT. That's where all of our show notes, our show archives, links to everything we talk about, it all lives there. You can subscribe to future shows there as well. So if you're like, what does that mean? If you subscribe, then the show just gets automatically downloaded and you can watch it uh, in a variety of ways. I do have way too Whether many Whether it's on the little or the big screen. Uh, yeah, you have too many notifications. I don't know how you live like that. Quick it's reminder crazy. that we record iPad today live on Thursdays around 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you have ideas of your own, whether it's an app or a da tip or a question or a comment, you can always write us at iPad today at twit.tv. It seems like, um, is there, there's no like, like clear all button for notifications. Nope, nope, you gotta go one at a time because there's so many different levels. Do you want no notifications? Do you want it to be in your lock screen? Do you want it to be in Kinda the notification center? It bugs me too because what I end up doing is I end up saying Ugh, no just, notifications. Just don't right. notify me about anything. Like here, how to cook. Remember that was my app cap a couple of weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, how to cook everything. Check out the new featured recipe: stuck pot rice with potato crust. Don't need notifications. Don't for that. really want that notification. No. Uh, if I needed it, now it is Jim Ladderback's birthday. I'm glad to know that. By the way, that's another thing that bugs me. You can't clear calendar. It's always there. Right. Yeah. I, I guess that's appropriate. I, it's your next thing. Well, you figure if it's on your calendar, you really yeah. you really probably want to yeah, see it. I guess that's all right. I don't use the notification center all that much. I really don't. I but should turn it off. That's just because I don't. I don't think that it's a bad thing. It's good to have. Good for news. Yeah. I just uh, don't like to be bugged too much. That's the thing. That's why I turn on Do Not Disturb. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a moment. But first... <laughs> but first... A word from Squarespace. <laughs> Do you know about Squarespace? I certainly do. I love Squarespace. Sarah Lane, Word. That's a Squarespace site. Leo, it hasn't been called Sarah Word for like nine years. My gosh. 
I just thought that was a good name. Thank you. Ba back in the day, all there were was words on blogs, and so I thought that was very clever. You spelled it with an O, though, not an E. Should be word with no, an E. No, nobody word. says that. That's not word. That's wrong. So now it's just SarahLane.com, but it is a Squarespace site. Now the nice thing is, if anybody ever visited it, it would be great because you could, if everybody all at once, you haven't updated in a while. I haven't, but, but if, I'm going to. So there you go. So millions of people now will flood to your site to see, and it cannot be brought down because Squarespace is not only the best hosting, but because they do the content management software that runs on top of it. There it is. Yeah, look, it was, it, two, was, it was two years ago. Two years ago. And Episode I, 25 of iPad Today. And I was talking about iPad Today. That's I what I was doing. Life you. hasn't changed much for me. Um, no, it was, it was a lovely post. I just, um, you know what you know what happened? I got crippled because I wanted to change my site. No, no, no. And then no, just, no. it doesn't matter. Just stopped. You got stopped. Yeah. So, but the point is the nice, clean interface. Mm -hmm. I think it might be time to move to the new Squarespace 5 or 6, six. platform because yeah. it's got mobile responsive design, which is so cool. So in the old days of the web, in fact, you know what? I hate to say it, but our own website, because it was right at the cutoff, we had the designers do a mobile version. $5,000 more to do a mobile version. So we like have two sites. If you go on mobile, it's one. No more. With Squarespace, all sites work the same way on all platforms. They are, it's called mobile responsive design. So if you're on a little tiny iPhone or if you're on a 27 inch screen, the site resizes automatically and always looks great and is always consumable. There's no special mobile version of it. That's just one of many features. In fact, they've got 50 new features. They've got beautiful new templates and, and you don't have to know anything about all of this wizardry in the background. You just design it the way you want, make it look great and it will handle the rest for you. Now, if you are a developer and you're up on all the HTML5 technologies like CSS3 and JavaScript and all that, you can, if they've got a great developer platform with a beautiful code editor with syntax coloring and everything, so you can use that, but you don't have to. So it's easy to build a page. This is, it's rare in the world that you get something that's easy to use, but it also has lots of depth, and that's what this is. Uh, Squarespace is fantastic. I want you to try it. You don't have to even use a credit card or anything. Just go to squarespace.com and click the trial uh, button. Two weeks free. You get all the, uh, all the accoutrement. You even get the 24-7 support. You even get Minecraft, it looks like. Uh, so it's a really, what are you, playing Minecraft during the show? Is that what you're doing? Chad's preparing for a show there. So click that Get Started button. <laughs> Did you see that? I saw it. Minecraft yeah. just flashed up. And you can, uh, for $8 a month for the basic plan, but I would say go with the unlimited plan. It's only $16 a month. Remember, you're getting hosting. You're getting a free domain registration when you buy the annual plan. You're getting unlimited bandwidth, unlimited pages, unlimited blogs, unlimited storage, unlimited... I mean, unlimited... $16 a month when you buy an annual plan. That's a great deal. The other reason you should get the annual plan is you're going to get 10% off yeah, you when you are. use our code iPad Today one That's for the first month of the year. iPad Today one 10% off. But you don't even need that if you just want to try it. Just go to squarespace.com and click Get Started. It, I, you know, if you're, if you're looking at you you got to do a site. Maybe there's a wedding or a birth coming up. By the way, what a great gift to give somebody if they're having a baby is to set up their site with a baby's name. That is a really good idea. You could do it free on Squarespace, make it look gorgeous, and then say, here's the password, it's yours. You don't, and you don't, it would cost you nothing except a little time. Mm -hmm. And then if you want it, uh, you know, $16 a month, forever. Squarespace.com, iPad Today One, if you decide to buy, please, you're going to love it. So, Leo. Hmm. We've talked about Waze quite a bit, especially recently, because Waze has sort of emerged as a very good alternative to Apple Maps. I love it. In fact, Waze got a lot of attention before Google Maps came back into the App Store. Uh, they went from about 7% of iOS users, at least in the U.S., to 10. It was the in, only... In like the month after the, it, it, the Apple Maps. It was the only them. mapping app that really benefited from the Apple fiasco. Right. Although a lot of other companies said, yeah, we've seen quite a few downloads. Waze was the one that people... <sighs> found the most uh, helpful. Rumor has it, depends on who you read at the same publication. See, that's my question. Fact. I don't know. Is this true? Do you think this is true? Well, so here's what happens. Uh, there, are, there are some rumors. TechCrunch says it's got sources, um, writes, a, writes up a post, it was either earlier this morning or late last night, that Apple is in talks to buy Waze for what Apple would like to be about 500 million, and I guess the Waze wants three quarters of a billion, according to this rumor. According to the rumor, a couple hours later, million. TechCrunch 
different reporter, uh, says, yeah, no, I've got my own sources, and that's not happening. This is just not happening. That's interesting. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know how, that's, how that works. That's the battle of the crunches. Right. Wow. <laughs> that shows that they have a lot of autonomy there. Yes. Uh, so, so it, it's, it's hard to know, but if you read it, it was, it was MG's, he was the second article who said, no, no, no. He said I've it's not happening. MG has good sources. I know, he does. He has very so good... So he says it's not happening. He says it, he has very who good says it is sources. happening? Well, it was Mike Butcher, who's, an, who's another He's got reporter. good sources, too. I like Mike. Yeah, he's, he's, over, he's over in Europe, so it's, hard, it's very hard to say. It's, it's kind of strange, but to, uh, let's just say f for a second. All right, well, whether they're going to be acquired anytime soon or not... It's very possible that Apple and Waze are talking. Waze is already an official Maps uh, partner of Apple. So the two companies, I'm sure, are on very good terms and what does want that to mean? both mul mutually benefit. Do they use Waze data in the Apple Maps? Yeah, because... Um, Traffic data? Uh-huh. Yeah. Interesting. Right. So maybe that's where this came from. Maybe. It didn't seem to me that Apple... It, it's not Apple style. Certainly, they got the money. They got well, see, $100 that, billion. Dollars. They could buy more than that. They could buy anything they want. That's what I was kind of thinking, too. didn't seem like too. their style. Earlier on, on TNT, we were talking about this, and it's like, it just doesn't seem like something that Apple would do. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a match made in heaven. But then again, we keep hearing these rumors swirling about Apple. Oh, Apple's going to buy Foursquare. Now it's like which Apple's going to buy happen. Waze. Which did not happen. Which did not happen doesn't mean it won't. Yeah. But I, I mean, Foursquare would have been a very expensive purchase as well. Apple can afford it, though, so that's not really the problem. The problem is what's going to make Apple's Maps app a killer Google Maps, a Google Maps killer? Right. They, they have a long way to go, but I don't know if Foursquare is the answer. Waze is sort of on the up and up, where I would say Foursquare is maybe a little bit on the decline, at least in my geek circles. And, and as somebody who uses Waze, I'd actually hope it doesn't happen, because I really like Waze the way it is. And mm -hmm. I remember other acquis acquisitions by Apple. Beatmasters reminded me about Lala, which Apple bought to kind of improve the recommendation engine in iTunes and just went, it, or, it, or streaming and stuff, and it went away. It just, nothing happened with it. Yeah, a lot and of people were bummed about that. I'd hate for them to do that to Waze. It's such a great app. In fact, please, Waze, don't sell yourself. Uh, there's lots of ways you can make money. Let's keep, I, 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 I get did sad. Did you see what you did there? Lots of ways. Lots of ways. You noticed ways that I'm more clever than I know. <laughs> it was good. That was a very good <laughs> a one. Fun. Well, you know they have ways ads that rolled out uh, just a few There's months ago. Of, they don't make a lot of money on those, no, but I they think don't, there's other actually. ways that they could do all right. And I just, it's such a great service. If you don't know, Ways is a crowdsourced mapping app that tells you about not only traffic conditions ahead, but whether there's a police officer ahead, uh, an obstruction in the road, an accident, a stalled car. And it's a rem if you live in an area where it's heavily used, which most urban areas are, uh, it's remarkable. It's really fantastic. I don't go anywhere without turning on Waze first. So speaking of iPads, yeah, yeah that's a segue. Um, uh, ch ch I always have a hard time saying this, Chitika Insights, it's a research firm um, that, uh, well, they, they, it's... Here, have some more whiskey. It'll make it easier. Come on, Chitika. <laughs> I want to say Chiquita. It That's sounds like Chiquita, but it's, it's not, not spelled like Chiquita. It's Chitika, C-H-I-T-I-K-A. Chitika um, uh, Insights surveyed a sample of, of, of a bunch of ad impressions in the hundreds of millions um, in its advertising network. Basically, what that means is they're able to get a, a, a pretty good sense based on web traffic from tablets, what kind of tablets are being used the most. I see these, Flurry does something like yeah. this as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, it's not a perfect science, but it's but a way to know. Apple's not telling, this right. is the only thing we can exactly. do. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is web traffic, this is not any specific app. But you know, you're doing searches and you know, you're on the web and that sort of thing. And Apple, uh, the iPad is, is, is in the lead by a very wide margin. It's got 78.86% of the market. There you go. Wow. However... Compared to the next best, which is... That is the Kindle Fire with 7.51. But, but what's probably more interesting is the number of, of share change, it's right? It's dropping. Kindle Fire is on the up and up. Mm. The Galaxy Tab uh, also a bit. Google Nexus sees a tiny bit of bump. The Surface, well, <laughs> it is in the black. Uh, the BlackBerry Playbook, uh, it's almost no percentage difference at all. iPad, over 7% of a drop. Now, mm. there it's could be... It's still 78.8% of the market. It is. 
It is, and this is only for the month of December. It's actually for, from December 1st through the 27th. The lesson is that... Which is a weird month. Stuff went up at the cost of iPad because Apple iPad was it. So anything new in see, the market's going to hurt it a little that's bit. That's the way that I see it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not bad. There's still like almost eighty percent. In a way, I think it's almost more of a hey, look at you, good for you, Kindle Fire. Right. Because three percent, come on. Well, but hey, I mean that's new. Kindle Fire was brand new year. I'm surprised they're beating Nexus Seven. To be honest with you, I thought Nexus Seven. I would have could have sworn Nexus Seven would be number two on that list. Really? Yeah, I guess not. It's geeks who like the Nexus Seven. Real people like the Kindle Fire. Real people. Actual living, breathing people. I'm not people. a real person. The normals. I haven't been a real person since 1978. What, what happened that year? That's when the clones, they started using the clones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have to get into that. Mm -mm. So, yeah, the iPad's still, you know, a huge market share. It's, it's you know, the, when you see research like this, it's like, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. I mean, if you enjoy your operating system... Nothing. That's true. It, it shouldn't affect matter. you. The it's only... more for investors and people who are keeping track of the horse race. I mean, I guess if you, I mean, if you, if you uh, really enjoyed an uh, OS and a tablet that had a much smaller market share, you could be worried that developers wouldn't be interested anymore because it was showing that that well, that, here's that the thing to remember: consumers weren't flocking to that. But the iPad doesn't have that problem. Right. If you took that graph and you said Android instead of all the little Android devices. Kindle Fire is Android, but it's not really. It's Amazon's version. So let's say it's really an iPad and then Android, which is much better, much bigger than the 3%, and then Kindle Fire. Right. So And, and then that's what you care about. The, the Android platform is going to stick around. I think it is. I haven't looked at the numbers exactly, but that would be my analysis. I think, yes. I think it's about right. I think the Android platform is alive and well, yes. for sure. Somehow. Uh, I mean, Somehow. let's hope so anyway. Yes. It makes a lot of people happy. All right, we got a duh tip. This is... This is... Um, a little bit more than a duh tip. It's from Kevin Berg. He says he's the founder and head tech at CompuPain. Um, but this is a, this is a That's cool tip. That's his name? That's the name of the company? Uh -huh. CompuPain? CompuPain? Like P-A-N-E. Oh. Not, I'm going to hurt you, pain. <laughs> I don't think. Great, it's not an inspiring... Well, anyway, I'll go well, Kevin, what, did he, what did he write? Kevin wrote, you can create shared photo streams without inviting any subscribers... Other devices that use the same primary cloud account will then receive the same shared photo Don't streams. Don't I know that? That's kind of one of, uh, well, that could be embarrassing. Let's put it that way. No, no, no. No. What he's saying is, if you, so if you go into your photos. Yeah. And you add a custom photo stream. Yeah. But you just don't invite anybody. Right. Then you're the only one who's going to see that custom photo stream on the same iCloud account on a different device. Right. So no, I knew that. Problem? That's the whole point of photo stream. Right. Well, because I have other people in my family have my iCloud, uh, use my account. You Don't you use my account? No. Oh, thank God. Why would I do that? Because. <laughs> what? We don't share. No. Because, well, because. Then you'd see all my, like, no, no. But you so I was be. being cheap. I didn't want to buy apps for everybody. So yeah. I said, use my account. And then you get the apps that I have. But it turns out you also get all the pictures I take. That's correct. Now, what, what, what Kevin is There's saying is... There's pictures of me in a dress. I don't want anyone to see. No, you put that on the internet, so that's your fault. Um, I saw it, actually. Um, but no, I guess that was on path, so yeah, it was and, somewhat and it, and private. It, and it wasn't me who did it, I want to point out. Okay. It's others. So, but, but the thing about the shared photo stream, which is nice, is photo stream in, in general is a way to have a copy of you know, your, your local camera roll on one of your devices in the cloud. That's all fine and good, but that's sort of just a one, it's kind of like a photo dump right. area. Right. The, the, the photo streams that are uh, shared photo streams, which, by the way, if you're just totally confused as to what I'm talking about, let me go to... That's a feature that was added. Was it added in 6? It been, was. Yeah. It was added in 6. Thanks. Maybe even 6.1. I'm not really sure. But so, so I'm in my photo stream right now. If I go ahead and... Da, 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 do I say edit? No. Um, how do I add a, oh, if I go ahead to the little plus area, now this is where I might say something like, I want to share, um... I think this is preferable, because you control what gets shared with whom. Yeah, exactly. If I wanted to share a bunch of photos of, you know, the Twit picnic with Leo, I go ahead right. and, and, you know, type his address in, I give the photo stream a name, I say if I want it to be public or not, so it's something that somebody could, could access, um, from, from the web, uh and I go ahead and say create, and at that point, in this photo stream, I, th I can get, then add selective photos from, from my library. So that's kind of cool. Hmm. Um, 
anyway, what Kevin is saying is, he says that he's sort of worked with clients who have, you know, a bunch of different devices that might be interested in something like this. He says, it keeps things more organized than just the general photo stream. And you can delete the copies of photos from the camera roll once they're in a shared photo stream. Right. Though you should back up the originals because shared photo streams send a device optimized copy back, which might mean lower resolution from the original. We have talked about that on a previous show. He says, still, for general viewing and showing photos, it seems to work well, even when you're offline. He says he's not sure if there's a hard cache limit, though. The two main differences compared to local albums are you can't include videos, so shared photo streams are photos only, and you can't rearrange photos. So the way that you choose them to be in the album is kind of the way that they're stuck. But he says uh, you can add photos to these shared al albums from multiple devices as well. So that's something to keep in mind. I mean, if you're if you're a uh, if you're a photo organizer and the photo stream is like kind of kind of works for you, but maybe seems a little bit limiting. Um, that's not really something that we've talked about in the past. I think we, I talked think about we could the... do a whole episode on, oh, on the gosh. ins and outs of photo stream, which is not, I don't think it's obvious. I think people like me do stupid things sometimes. Yes. For instance. I didn't know for a long time that there was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a a lower resolution on iDevices I know. than it would be if you were to sync to your to your iMac. We and learned iPhoto. we learned that to, on iPad today a few weeks ago. Well, it was more than a few weeks ago, but yes, that's something that we learned. Ago. Yeah, a few weeks, uh, several. If you watch regularly, those are there are many great things you would learn. I know it's true. I, I wish I watched regularly. I think I think this would be sort of a big undertaking, but we should do you know photo specials. Like on a regular how to basis. use photo stream. Yeah. The ins and outs, the pros and cons, the or pluses just, yeah, and minuses. It's like if you've got a few devices and you've got I an like iPad and you really want to take it seriously like and idea. what's the best way to manage well, your you stuff because I the, don't really have One of the neat things is that for your Apple TV, the screensaver can be your photo stream and that's cool. If yeah. You, you know, but you want to manage it and Apple doesn't give you a lot of tools. That's right. So this is a good way to start anyway. We got an email from Blair in West Hollyweird, Blair says, <laughs> California. I, I know it well says, perhaps I missed it. Sarah, did you take that iPad mini to Europe? I went to Europe back in December. As your only iPad, as Leo suggested. Like Leo, did it start to make you use your mini all the time as your personal iPad device of choice? I'm still holding out for Retina Display, but I'm seriously considering selling off my iPad 3 mm. and just being a dedicated iPad mini user as I am a consumer of information and very little creation of any products on my iPad. I think that's sort of an interesting point, Blair, because... I do a lot of tinkering around, and I prefer my full-size Retina iPad. I like the Mini. It's definitely more portable. I did take it on vacation with me, but no, I did not come back from Europe saying, eh, the Retina screen it doesn't matter to me anymore. I like small better. I actually, I, I pick up my full-size iPad. Interesting, because I had the opposite experience. That's the iPad I fall asleep with at night. Yeah, that seems odd. Doesn't it hurt your nose when it hits you? No, I just fall, it's next oh, it's, to me. It slumps. Yeah, it's a queen-size bed. There's plenty of room. <laughs> I, don't like I don't do that. No, I, I lay it over. <laughs> so you're lying, and then what? No, I don't hold it at all. You put You prop it on a pillow, and you're looking at it like that? Yeah. No, sort of. Yeah. God, well, because I, sometimes I watch videos, so I'm not going to touch it. Yeah. I know, that's weird. Seems like there should be a better it seems, way. It's, I don't know. Whatever. I but think you'd like the iPad Mini. I like the iPad well, I Mini. I like it. I After just I don't... took it only on the cruise, mm -hmm. it became that's what's at home. This is at work, the big one. Uh, because I needed it at work because you want a bigger display. Right. But I am very content with using the iPad Mini all the time. I agree with uh, you that the, retina, the lack of retina is a little frustrating, but not horrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's great. It's a perfect size. So I have exactly the opposite experience, which is that that is all I need. I, I think. For some of us, not obviously all of us, but for some of us, it would be okay to sell the big iPad and use the little one only. Apparently not you, though. No, I don't want to. If I had to sell one of them, I'd sell, the, sell mini. the little one. However, I think that Blair makes a really good point that for some people, this is going to be a, am I just consuming? Is that really all I'm doing? And if so, do I really need that extra screen real estate? Because for the, for some of... The uh, you know creation apps, and we we talk about them all the time. You know, take an art app, take take paper, uh, for example. That is something that I just want a bigger iPad for. It just makes more sense. If the mini were Retina, would it be okay? I don't think it has to do with Retina as much as it has it's to do size. with the size, okay. because the iPad mimics a little bit more of that like eight by eleven piece of paper. Right. Uh, it, you know, just just that much more than a mini does. So if you know you you just want okay. a canvas. Uh, yeah, that's completely reasonable. Um, I I'm very comfortable with a mini. You know, I did. Uh, here's an interesting photo use. Mm -hmm. I use Google Plus, which by the way, Google's done great iOS apps. They have some good people. Google doing Plus on iPad is awesome. It's gorgeous. 
Um, so whenever I take a picture with my Android phone or my iPhone, it's automatically auto auto uploaded to Google Plus. Facebook does this now. Uh, Photo Stream does it if you turn it on. Um, and what's cool about this? So I took a bunch of pictures over the break on my Android device, and I, at first I thought, well, I'll get out the Android device, and I said, wait a minute, no, because I use Google Plus, it's on my Google Plus uh, uh, do app. Do you do automatic uploads? Yes, and the Google Plus app on other devices now can see those uploads. So if you go to your photos in uh, in Google Plus, the, now you have to use the app, you can see, of oh, it crashed, look at that, I haven't done that in a while. Um, it, you can see all the photos you've uploaded, even ones that haven't been made uh, public. And so I was, the earlier today, I wanted to show somebody some pictures I had taken. I had the mini with me. I went to Google+, Plus. I was able to scroll through these pictures I'd taken on an Android phone. That's kind of fun, right? It's as if they're syncing with each other. Yeah, and, it, well, they, are, and they looked great. And so this was a nice little size for sharing a photo album. Mm -hmm. I thought it worked really well. Bet and better than I have a Galaxy Note 2, which is five and a half inches, pretty big. But just a little bit bigger makes a big difference. I thought the iPad mini was perfect for doing exactly uh, that. Just a thought. That is a good one. Yep. That is a good one. Okay. Uh, Jared wrote us. Uh, he's got, we sort of got a little, we got a little extra dot tip. If the photo stream dot tip was maybe a little bit more complex, this is an easy one. Jared says, we all know about swiping down the notification center from the top. But what you might not know is that you don't actually need to swipe down from the center. In fact, you can swipe down from anywhere from the top of the screen and get the same result, even Isn't from cool? the corners. It may not be obvious since the tab is in the center, right. so naturally you'd want to swipe from the center. He does know this only works when swiping down, not up, unfortunately, though. So yeah, if I'm looking at my home screen and I'm like, hey, what's in my notification center? I go ahead and- From there. There you go. That now, only works in the home screen, does not work in apps. When you go back up, you have to actually be in the square. Yeah, it doesn't uh, work with apps. But to go down, just be anywhere. So, you know, it's it's not really, I mean, it's not that hard to go down from the middle. But just to sort of know that you don't have to, I don't know, maybe your iPad's slightly out of reach or something. There you have it. It's the whole top screen. We don't call them a duh tip for nothing. That's right. <laughs> duh. 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 I love that tips. I, I do too. I really do. Because almost universally, it's something you didn't know. It's just something where you're like, oh, I would never have even thought ah, to try that. That's maybe something cool. that's not going to change your life. It's not going to change your life. I'll tell you that right now. It's just a Dutch. It's tip. Just good to know. That's it's all a, it it's is. perfectly named. Thank you, Jared. You rock. We want to hear from all of you. We love featuring you, your voicemails, your emails, sometimes even your videos when you send them in. Write us at iPad today at twit.tv. Mm. Send us a voicemail. We will not answer, but you'll hear me say something really silly um, at 757-504-IPAD. Or for extra points, you can send us a video. Try to keep it to 30 seconds or less. Could be a question, a comment, a duh tip, anything else. You can just sing or show us your lunch. Sing. Show us your lunch. Sing your lunch. Could be. Possibilities are endless. It's Think outside the box. Unbelievable, the and variety. thanks in advance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to get my app cap ready while you tell the nice people about listening. I'm refreshing my books. Audible library even as we speak. You know, I watched, finally gave up. I was going to not go see the movie The Hunger Games until I read the book because I heard the book is so good. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to spoil it. I finally saw the movie and I went, this isn't that good. So I finally said, you know, I really should listen to the book. I've downloaded it on audible.com. I also, and I'm a big fan of Patrick Rothfuss now, having read book one of the King Killer Chronicles, The Name of the Wind, the second book, 42 Hours, is on there. The Wise Man's Fear, it's called. So many, oh, this is a good one that Andy Anako recommended. You know who Stephen Tobolovsky is? No. He's a character actor. You'd recognize him in a minute. He wrote a book called The Dangerous Animals Club. Pete Townsend's Who Am I? His autobiography. He narrates it, which is kind of fun. So many great books. This is every book I've ever listened to on audible.com. Now, admittedly, Audible has 100,000 books. I'll never get through them all. But I've been an Audible customer since 2000. And I've got 500 books on here, and I can listen to anyone. Here's a good one. Why We Get Fat. This, is, this was a transformation. It's why I look so good now. Uh, 
What are you laughing at? I knew you would laugh. I knew it. I only laughed because you paused dramatically for effect. I set you up on that one. Thank you. Uh, Great Stephen King stuff. Audible.com. So here's the deal. Go to audible.com and browse around. They've got fiction, nonfiction. I'm I'm a big history buff. Did you see Lincoln? The book it's based on. Doris Kearns Goodwin. uh, Team of Rivals. A wonderful book. There's an abridged version, unabridged version. Great readers. These books come to life. And the beauty part is you can listen... Times you couldn't normally listen. Uh, in the car, at the gym, um, when you're walking the dog. I listen all the time when I'm walking Ozzy. Ah, uh, The Hobbit. If you haven't read The Hobbit, you ought to. Before you see uh, Oh Dark Thirty, you should probably see No Easy, read No Easy Day, the first-hand account of the Osama bin Laden mission mm-hmm. by one of the Navy SEALs, the SEALs Team 6. Life of Pi, please read the book before you see the movie. Brilliant book, wonderful book. I can go on and on and on. Here's how you can get a free book right now plays on your iPad, your iPhone, almost anything, uh, go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. That's our special link. You get a What you're doing is you're going to sign up for the gold account. That's a book a month. But first month's free. First book is free. You cancel it any time in the first month. You will pay nothing, and that book is yours no matter what forever. I don't think you're going to cancel because Audible, at least for me, changed my life. If you've got a commute, you better get Audible. Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. You will love it all right i have a special oh sorry about that my microphone i apologize <laughs> i put it right here it's it's pretty good it's, it's good until i go like show. this <laughs> i mean it looks very silly but it sounds great it works yes um i have to thank liz romero yes for my app cap today <gasps> it's so cute isn't that great it's great that was, that was my christmas extra gift prop is that a real pipe it's a real pipe that goes with the cap is it a corn cob pipe does that, I'm um, sorry, but does that look like a corn cob? I just wanted to, I don't know, I just, I'm sorry that Christmas is over. I wanted to keep it going a little bit more. Corn you wanted to give me a corn cob? button nose and two eyes made Oh, I get it, like I'm Frosty the freaking snowman. Yeah, you're... Sherlock Holmes, lady. Oh. Get it straight, and who are you? I Jackie am... Onassis? I would love to be Jackie O. <laughs> yeah, actually, what about this? You look like Audrey Hepburn. No, I don't. But thank you. And Breakfast v- at Tiffany's. That's very nice and a big, big lie. I love your hat. Isn't it this is great? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Does it, is it, is it, you got it like a bow at the top? Can you let the flaps down if you feel like You know, I've never seen anybody do that with a deer stalker hat, but I guess you could. You probably could. Well, <laughs> look at us go. Oh. Sherlock like, Holmes never like did this. Snoopy. You look Never like did that. Yeah. No, it's I bet he did when his ears got cold. Even a detective gets cold Have ears. Have you been watching the BBC Sherlock? No. Awesome. I know. I'm stupid. Awesome I'm and moronic. I don't know It's I'm very not funny it. because they explain the origin of the deerstalker hat myth and it's not what you think it is, but I'll leave that as an exercise to the reader. Oh, well, I love this. This is very cute. All, All right, right. What's so your app cap? My app cap is called Living Earth. Have you heard of it? I haven't. I love it. I love it, too. Yeah. Bizarrely, we haven't talked about it on the show before. Um, or at least, if we have, I have no recollection. This is a... It's a It's a, It's a. a time... It's a weather app, and it's also an alarm. Um, and it's very dark right now because the Earth is spinning, and we're looking at the part of the Earth that is in darkness as we tape this live. Now we're... You know, now, as, as you can see... Is it dark outside? We're, well, we're in California, so it's, oh, it's not, not dark yet. But it is it's in New York. It's only 2.46, but yeah, East Coast, yeah, it's dark that? already. Yeah. What's kind of cool, too, is like... The lights have come on. You've got this neat... That's... <laughs> You've got yeah exactly, you've, and you've got sort of this neat 3D that. effect where you, you can see like the parts of the world that just you know it's not yeah, getting light at no all. No light on the North Pole. Oh gosh. Santa's gone to bed for the year. Santa's well, he's very tired. He had, yeah, a, he had, a, he had quite a season. Yeah. Um, and so so you know this is just a little bit of like a neat visual, right? So if I'm I don't know I'm 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 over I don't know I'm looking at India, right? And I so go like well where where am I exactly right now? I go ahead and say like current location, so it geolocates me. I have said I you know that my current location it knows that I'm in Petaluma, but I. I've also said I'm interested in a few other uh, places. So you can look at San Francisco. The map doesn't, or the globe doesn't change that much because it's pretty much the same area. But if I say Sydney, it'll it'll uh, zip down to Sydney. Now it's telling me that right now it's 5:51 a.m. It's already 74 degrees. It's summer there. It's very hot. Oh, it's and beautiful. if I'm looking at like the seven-day forecast, I, love I go Sydney. ahead and I love Sydney. Isn't oh, it fun? look at that! It's beautiful. You tap on, yeah. What looks yeah. like, you know, hey, let's let's look at the next let's week. Go. It was updated um, just a minute ago. Mm. Um, here's, you know, obviously the you know the the local time in Sydney because yeah. it's tomorrow. 
Um, and then you have a variety of really cool settings. Okay, so if I say, um, you know, I want to edit my cities, you know, I want to choose between, you know, Fahrenheit and Celsius, I want to see wind speed, and, you know, miles per hour type of a thing that's, you know, all just sort of based on the metric system or lack thereof. Do I want bright night clouds? Uh, oh, okay. That's neat. And then here's where it really gets cool. What kind of Ooh. view do you want? I'm looking at the clouds view right now. Ooh. I can look at the world via temperature. So as you can see right now, it's pretty hot down under. I can look at the wind, <gasps> the wind patterns as oh, far as the world is this concerned. Is cool. Isn't that great? There's a bunch of them. Humidity, because I don't like humidity, so mm -hmm. I'd really like to stay away from it. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's some humidity. Where are we? Let's look go back that. home. Yeah. Not yeah. not a huge amount of Humidity. Well, it's a it's a it's a dry humidity. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we so I'm saying you know in our area over yeah. the East Coast there's quite a bit of humidity. Right. It's very high. Yeah. So this is just this is just really cool. And and you could take a screenshot, which is I've never really found the need to do this. But if you wanted to, you just heard that I take a screenshot and maybe I send it to somebody. You know, Facebook, Twitter, email, or at the end there's your alarm. So if you love this, this is kind of going to be your, you know, your 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 little bedside whatever. Maybe you've got a dock so that you can, you know, you can uh, have it on and not let it run out um, overnight. You set your alarm, you set your sound and your music, and you're good to go. It's a great little app. Um, it is $1.99, so for two bucks, I think there, it's worth there's it. there's quite a bit here. Yeah. Yeah. That is Living, Living Earth, Earth, clock and weather. I love that. Yeah, if you just search for Living Earth, it'll be the first the first result. And I was a little torn because I, I did want to mention that Zepto, the, the folks that do Cut the Rope, have a new app called Pudding Monsters. Pudding Monsters. And it's cute and it's worth looking at. And maybe I'll show you that next week. It's yeah. just, it's uh, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Well, app it's, caps are supposed to be an app It's supposed app to be something I really like, like, right? Yeah. It's probably better than the app, but I... I'm going to recommend, but I really like this app, okay? Okay. So don't, please, well, don't, don't, say anything. No, don't get all weird about it. This is your choice, and I won't, I won't disrespect so, it. So, but you mocked me before, because I, you know, I like those games. Okay, some people. Well, sometimes you have terrible games. Yeah, I know. But I'm not going to mock you. Some people like games that make them nervous. Some people don't. You don't like a game that makes you nervous. You want a game that's going to soothe you and calm you, right? That's correct, because I have high blood pressure. Right. You don't want your blood pressure to go up. Right. Right. Some people, though, like a little bit, it, it amps you up. You like a little bit of stress and strain. Yeah. Um, I like strategy games. Yes. So I like to play chess. But sometimes when you're a chess player, you'll play five-minute chess. You'll play quick games to give you both the strategy, the thinking, but also to make you do it fast. This is like that. This is a combination of strategy and time trial called Royal Envoy. The new version, Royal Envoy 2, just came out. It's Royal Envoy 2 HD. Free to try for the first few levels. So okay. there's no investment in this if you don't like it. Um, but if you want, it's $6.99 if you want all the levels. Beware, you will probably want to play all the levels if you play just the first few levels. It's highly addictive and a lot of fun. The strategy is it's a resource game. You're given a challenge. Build three cottages or, um, you know, mine a bunch of gold or, or whatever it is. Yeah, ta -da -ta -ta -ta. And the, the other thing that's good about this is, and I know you like this, it, you like being powerful. You're in charge here. Absolutely. Yeah, you get to, so we're on the adventure right now. There are bonus levels. You can see what your achievements are and stuff. But basically, this is one of those games you're going to work your way through. And uh, when you're done with it, then you'll be kind of done with it. I don't think you, I don't, the replayability is not great. So I'm actually quite a bit farther on my mini, which is what I play with. But I'll just show you. This is where you're, you got, you're wandering through the world. Oh, we're going to have a snowball fight real quickly. We'll get, we'll get this over with. I, I wanted to keep this around because I just want to show you the variety of gaming. This is not the traditional part of it, but you, there is a little whack-a-mole mini game in here that you have to solve. You know what? Let's, let's exit out of this. But just to give you an idea, we're gonna we're gonna continue on. Um, I'm sorry. Let's exit. We'll, I'll choose a different level. Yeah, we'll choose a different level. Give you an idea of something more typical. Um, you're gonna work through, by the way, this whole kingdom. There are many locations in here, many levels. Uh, you have a chance to earn 189 stars, three stars at per level. So that is what 63 uh, different levels. Let's uh, let's just play a level here. I'll pick a level. You can go back and, and play previous levels, so I'll pick a level that I've uh, played before. Um, the idea is you have a certain amount of time, and I'll show you where they show you that. There's a little thermometer on the left. Certain amount of time to complete a task. We're still up in the Arctic here. I have to make four cottages. 
So I have little men in these castles here. As soon as I tap, the thermometer will go up. You're trying to get a, a total of three stars, but as the time goes by, you get fewer and fewer stars. You hope to do this all within the three star level. That's that first line here. He's, look at oh, look, he got some gold. Now I gotta use that gold to do something interesting, perhaps build a sawmill. I'm gonna do that. You have multiple men who can do a variety of things. You control them all. As you can see, I can tell you're already getting a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, because in fact, the time is running out, and you've got things to do here before the game is over. Yeah, you see, this is, but you got to be strategic. You got to do it in the right order. You've, the goal here is to make four cottages. I've got to get enough wood to build across this bridge. But in order to make wood at the sawmill, I have to have gold coins. Let's see if I can get some more gold coins. I built this cottage. It's got 200 coins rent, so I'm going to get a little gold coin from that. Uh, and I'm going to open this chest here. So you can see, you get very, it gets very involved. I find it soothing in a way to do this. OK, now I can make some wood. I need 200 cords of wood to get across this bridge here. You get the idea. It is, it is quite a fun game. Um, I mean, I guess it's stressful enough that if you have something else that's bothering you, you you don't think, think about, about it. it. <laughs> exactly. This takes your mind off your troubles. It is an escape from it's, reality. It's it's you're you're busy. You can't you I can't like think that. about your problems. Think about it that way. You can only think about what those little men are going to do next. Oh yeah. It's fun. It's challenging strategy plus time. Um, I, I've showed you some other time games like Save the Princess and so forth. See, I thought I had two. Oh, I need a little more wood. Let's get some more. Uh, how many times have I heard that? Let me see. Let's go get some gold here. There we go. Now I have enough gold to make the wood that I need. 50 core. Anyway, you get the idea. It's uh -huh. Royal Abbey. It has a variety of different landscapes, lots of challenges. There's mazes. You saw there was a little snowball fight there. Good. We're going to send the guys out. You can make more guys if you have tomatoes. You get to make, you gotta make, <laughs> you gotta make tomatoes by getting a market. It goes on and on. You can make a bank, you get more gold. This um, is very you. This game it is, is isn't very it? you. So that's it why is. I was torn because I don't know if this is a great game. I think it's a great game. I love it. People like your games. I they could do. show you the, the, the pudding monsters. If you have kids, you're gonna definitely want to get nah, pudding you wanna, monsters. You wanna save this for next week. Should I save it? Yeah, you should save it. Everybody loved Cut the Rope. It's f fairly similar to that. It's from the Russian company Zepto Labs and it's their first sequel. So there was a lot of interest when it's, it came it's out. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Yeah. Elementary. Yeah. Hey, so um, that comes, uh, that, that comes. We come, we've come to the end of our show, and I would sob and cry, but this has been a really good show, so we left no stone unturned. Sarah saves her sobbing and crying for before the show. Yes. I gotta do iPad today with that guy. Uh, <laughs> and I just, I just get through it because I've learned the art of whiskey. She's practically cheering inside because it's over. No, that's not true. Yeah, this is my favorite just... hour of the week, dude. Really? Yeah. That's why sometimes I make it go over an hour, even yes. though Ayaz is like sweating it back there. No, we got five minutes to know how. Yeah, Plenty I mean, of time. I prefer that we were done a little bit beforehand. So, but I don't want to stop because I like it so much. Who's hat? But you we're like going better? to now. Um, Leo, this has been. Really <laughs> what? You're my little snowman. You know. Uh, I don't know how to take that. Corn cob, button nose. No. Two it's wise Sherlock man. freaking Holmes. Oh, What's yeah. wrong with you? I don't know. Have a drink. I will. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, we'll be everyone. back next week. Uh, uh, same time, same, same place. On iPad today. Oh. Oh.